In this video, we're gonna go over some of the standard controls for the RTB2000. If you take a look, these two little green buttons on the right-hand side of the front panel, these are pretty good ones to know. So preset will basically take the scope back to a known um, good setup. And so it'll turn on channel one and set it at a common time per division and volt per division. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and hit that this time just because I already have some things running in the background, but auto set is another nice um, capability to know about. And so auto set will go out and it'll try to find a um, trigger for the uh, waveform, try to scale the waveform properly um, and uh, get the waveform all set up. Um, here are the vertical controls. And so basically you have your channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. And these are muxed controls. And what that means is, is they share a set of knobs. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on channel one. And um, you can see when I did auto set, it went ahead and configured the waveform to um, get it scaled properly on the screen. Um, now auto set does it the best that it can. It's not going to be perfect. So it's something that you'll wanna check and make sure that you're getting the sample rate that you expect and the time per division and the uh, vertical settings that you expect. Um, this is the offset control. And so it'll move the waveform up or down. Um, if you push it, it will center it back to zero. This is the scale. And so it'll change the scale from larger to smaller. Um, if you push it, it goes into a fine mode or vernier mode. Um, as you turn on other channels, you'll notice that it actually highlights what channel is going to be controlled. So in this case, we went from channel one and these rings being yellow to channel two and being green or channel three being orange, channel four being um, more of a purple color. Um, if you turn on math, it'll be a green color, those types of things. Up here are your horizontal controls. So your position knob, so you can change the position of where the trigger point is on the screen. If you push it, it also centers it back and then your scale knob um, that you can change the uh, time per division. And again, if you hit fine um, or if you push the button, it'll go into a fine mode. Um, in addition to uh, being able to control things from the front panel, you can also handle them from down here at the bottom. So if you click on say channel one, um, when you click on it, you can set up some of the minor settings for channel one. You can turn channel one off, those types of things.